Some streamers only care about one platform. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, doesn't matter. They only care about managing a profile there, streaming there, etc. Other streamers, they like to use multiple platforms. Stream one show to Twitch, another to YouTube, stream Q&A talks to YouTube, gaming to Twitch. Myself, I stream a bi-weekly streamer news show on YouTube and then go do game streaming over on Twitch. But how do you juggle multiple accounts for that within XSplit Gamecaster? That's what we're covering in today's episode. Are you ready to take ultimate control over your live stream but you're not sure how? The Elgato Stream Deck is the key to unlocking your full potential. With your choice of 6, 15, or 32 keys, all with customizable screens behind them, and unlimited possibilities to nest, make folders, and pages to control your live stream with scene switching, muting your microphone, activating your Elgato key lights, and setting up multi-actions to do everything at once. Start your stream, turn on your lights, tweet your stream, you can do anything. You'd be a fool not to have this in your setup. You don't want to be a fool, do you? Check it out via the link below and tell them the stream professor sent you. I'm Eples Vox, and welcome back to my XSplit Masterclass, sponsored by XSplit. By this point in the course, we've covered all of the basics. Uh, now we're covering some more advanced usage of XSplit Gamecaster. Remember, all episodes of the course are available in the description down below, so be sure to check that playlist if you have any questions or any concerns, because I've probably already covered it. I've said that a lot now. Hopefully you remember. Sometimes people still don't remember. If you want to download XSplit for yourself and haven't already, consider using my affiliate link in the description to let them know I sent you and to continue supporting free education. When you originally signed into XSplit, you may have signed in with a streaming platform account, such as Twitch or Mixer or whatever, instead of XSplit. However, you needed to link it to an XSplit account in order to gain full functionality out of everything when signing in anyway, so you may not have. If you did sign in this way, it had probably automatically linked in the program to whatever social account you signed into, but you'll want to check under Settings, Streaming, and see which account is selected in the drop-down menu. To add more, for example, if you want to stream to something other than what's already signed in, go to the Accounts Settings section. Here you can link up and sign in with other streaming service accounts, such as YouTube, Facebook, and Mixer. And then click Manage Accounts to move to the XSplit website to remove or unlink accounts and connect others not yet supported in Gamecaster, such as Twitter and things like that. Back in Gamecaster, in this Accounts section of Settings, clicking one of your signed-in streaming services will select it as the active profile that you're streaming to. Alternatively, once you've linked up your accounts, you can quickly swap between them using the drop-down menu in the streaming settings as well. Currently, the only settings that really changes between these options is that the ingest server is only an option to mess with mostly for Twitch, not the other platforms. Everything else remains the same. If you're using one of the dynamic streaming themes acquired through the Themes tab in Gamecaster, then most of the elements on screen, such as channel name, recent followers, events, etc., should update automatically when you switch profiles. This is super handy. However, if this is a workflow that you wish to use, be careful not to rely too heavily on elements exclusive to one platform, as there may not be alternatives when switching between them, such as a specific alert type or event that you have a dedicated box for on Twitch may not exist on YouTube. If you set up a custom layout, any manual text or browser-based sources would need to be manually switched to adjust for the platform choice. This is where the sets feature comes in handy, which we will have covered in another episode of the course. They're basically like scene collections in XSplit. You get to manage them separately, so you can have a YouTube one and a Twitch one. In some cases, like with YouTube, you may need to actually start streaming before t panels like chat or stream events start working, which is unfortunate, but thankfully you, when you hit start streaming on XSplit, you still hit go live over on YouTube. This XSplit Masterclass is also brought to you by Owned. Owned has lots of cool graphics. You want your stream to have that, wow, where'd you get that effect? Owned stream designs can do that for you. You got avatars, you got logos, you've got alerts, you've got stinger transitions, you've got layouts, you can preview them in real time. They're really cool and you can fully customize them and they're easy to use. Go to eposfox.gg slash own3d, link in the description, check them out and upgrade your stream today. Thanks for watching this episode of my XSplit Masterclass. Get subscribed for more tech education and stream guides. Maybe hit the like button and consider sharing this course with a friend. I'm Eposvox. I'll see you next time.